if dark matter doesn't interact with us, it kind of also doesn't interact with itself, or does it? Oh, yes, it does. It annihilates. So when two dark matter particles hit each other, they annihilate, which means they're, they turn into something else. Then how can wow. you make an object out of dark matter? I don't make an object out of dark matter. Do you make objects out of dark matter? I thought you made a dark matter star. No, I'm, uh, dark stars are made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium. 99.99%. Okay. And it's a little bit Which of dark regular, matter. Like all stars. Right, yeah. Like all stars in that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, a, but well, no, it's only hydrogen and helium from the Big Bang because these mm -hmm. are the first stars that ever formed. Got it. So they don't have anything else in there. No carbon, mm -hmm. nitrogen, oxygen. No, all I meant was all stars have hydrogen and helium in them. That's all I meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. So okay. it's an ordinary, it's ordinary matter, but it's powered by dark matter. So that that's because you have a lot of dark matter in there and those dark... Leftover from the early universe. Okay, let's back up. The dark stars would have been the first stars to form in the history of the universe when it was 200 million years old and we're now at 14 billion years. Dark, okay. This is your baby, these dark this stars. This is my baby. This is your you birth this is my, these. This is my baby. Yes, okay, go on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go on. Yeah. And back in the early universe, you these things would have formed at the centers of proto-galaxies. Yes. Small objects that are going to merge together to make our galaxy later on. That's where the action was, on. the gravitational action was. Yeah, and so smack in the middle of these protogalactic objects, they're called mini halos, that's where you would have collapsing clouds of hydrogen that are mm -hmm. on their way to forming stars. Mm -hmm. In the standard picture, they keep collapsing and make tiny little objects a thousandth of the mass of the sun and then accrete back up to about a hundred times the mass of the sun. But nobody asked, well, yeah, but if you're a smack in the middle of the protogalaxy, what about the dark matter? What does that do? Right. So that was a question that we asked. And... You would be changes. enclosing some volume of dark matter in doing so. Well, there's a lot of dark matter at the center of our galaxy, at the center yeah. of the proto-galaxy. Okay. The fact that you're smack in the middle is what counts. Got it. Because that's mm -hmm. where you got a lot of dark matter. Got it. And when you got a lot of dark matter, you get a lot of dark matter annihilation. Mm -hmm. And why why the coalescing of dark matter at the center? Because it responds like to gravity. Yeah. We knew that. Oh, that's right. The yeah. gravity at the center of every galaxy, there's a black hole. Is that the deal? No, no oh, it just, doesn't matter about the black hole. Doesn't matter about the black nope, hole. No, nope. okay. 